You just heard of this guy teaching how algorithms are in control of how financial markets move and you are super excited to start learning. You go to the Inner Circle Trader on YouTube and are overwhelmed by the huge content library out there. You don't know where to start so you just randomly watch some lectures and feel like this all goes way above your head. Let me tell you something, this is completely normal. However, with a proper structure of going through the Inner Circle Trader, his content on YouTube, I believe you can start to understand his language within just a few months time this doesn't mean you will be able to use the concept to make money within a few months however it does mean that you'll be able to know the foundation of ict concepts hereby i present you my 2024 guide on how i would advise you to study the inner circle trader his material the first place where i would suggest any new ict student to go is the 2022 mentorship and here's why within the 2022 mentorship ict describes the most fundamental thing to understand when it comes to his concepts. The concept that I'm referring to is the smart money paradigm. The smart money paradigm is by far the most important thing to understand when studying ICT concepts, because it showcases how smart money is in control of these financial markets and how they manipulate the markets to make use of uninformed speculative money their mistakes. They engineer liquidity at the right times so that they can attack that liquidity at a later point in time. When we understand that the market moves from old highs to old lows, or from old lows to old highs, we need to be able to recognize when this is likely to be the case. And first of all, the draw on liquidity gets explained in great detail within the 2022 mentorship. However, once we have established the draw on liquidity, we need to know how to confirm that the draw on liquidity is likely to get reached. And this is where changes in the delivery state come in play. Once we are able to understand the changes in the delivery state, we can recognize in advance when the market is likely going to deliver higher lows and higher highs. This is bullish order flow or lower lows and lower highs. This is bearish order flow. And finally, within the 2022 mentorship, ICT discusses the concept of ranges in great detail, where he explains premium and discount. In a premium, we look for shorts and in discount, we look for longs. When the markets are going higher, the masses would look to buy. However, we understand that the markets are then in a deep premium, so we would look short. If the markets would be dropping aggressively, the masses would look to sell. However, we know that the market is reaching towards a deep discount, so that's when we would look to buy. We're doing the opposite of what the masters are doing. And that's basically the main topic of the whole 2022 mentorship, but also of ICT trading in general. Once you have gone through the ICT 2022 mentorship and you've did the work to understand the majority of what he was teaching, the next topic that I would suggest you to dive deep into is the market maker models or better known as MXM. ICT has mentioned multiple times that the market maker models come closest to how he really trades. The reason why I would suggest you to dive into the market maker models is due to the following. The market maker models are a framework in which you can apply ICT his concepts when it comes to the understanding of the next drawn liquidity and where the market should reverse from. Once you understand where the market is likely to reverse, and you know how to confirm this reversal by utilizing changes in the delivery state, for example, you can understand that the market stages of the market maker model will then provide you with the great insight to know, for example, to what a retracement will take place, which is an entry opportunity, and where the final draw on equity is. Market maker models remove all ambiguity behind why the market does what it does. And every single market move is part of a market maker model. And therefore, I highly suggest you to research them. So in order to research your market maker models, what I would suggest you to do is the following. I would suggest you, first of all, to watch the Market Maker Primer series. This is an old school playlist by ICT, and I believe it's a great playlist. Secondly, I would suggest you to type in on YouTube market maker models ICT. When you type that in, you will see a wide variety of 
videos in which ICT discuss the topics of MMXM and would suggest you to study all of them. Next to that, I suggest you to watch a very specific lecture and it's called Advanced IPDA Insights by ICT. The Advanced IPDA Insights lecture provides you with a level of understanding IPDA, the Interbank Price Delivery algorithm, to a degree that is beyond words. And finally, I would suggest you to investigate all of ICT's execution videos visible on this YouTube channel. And then you will come to realize that all of his trades are market maker model trades. Once you understand the price side of things, I would highly suggest you to begin investigating time. Time is more important than price. It's time than price. However, for your research, it's better to begin with investigating price since it's probably easier to understand. And time becomes easier as well once you know what price patterns to look for within the markets. Now, what I would suggest you to do is the following. I would suggest you to first of all research ICT skill zones. ICT has created many lectures on the topic of kill zones, and the ones that I would suggest you to watch are the following. First of all, the ICT Asian kill zone lecture. Secondly, the ICT London kill zone lecture. And thirdly, the ICT New York kill zone lecture. Once you understand what he's trying to share when it comes to kill zones, I would highly suggest you to watch the following lecture. It's called Time and Price Theory. It's a rather short lecture, however, if you would rewatch it a couple of times, I promise you that you will see things within the markets that you are simply unaware of thus far. And now comes the gem by me. When going through all of his content, the 2022 mentorship, the market maker models content, whatever. When you go through that content, your eye is immediately always drawn to what he is pointing at when it comes to his cursor, or when it comes to his annotations, etc. But this is all price. Now imagine what you would begin to see if every time that he would show a specific price level or when he would annotate a specific price level, and you would look down and you would take a look at the time. Whenever you open up a chart, your eye automatically goes to the price pattern. But you need to train yourself to move to time first and then pay attention to the price. It's time, then price, not price, then time. And that's something I wish someone would have told me when I went through ICT's materials for the first time. So please make use of that tip. After you have understood the technical side of things and it's time for you to begin demo trading, I would highly suggest you to start paying attention to psychology more. You will come to realize that psychology is probably around 80% of this game. You need to learn how to control yourself, not only in good times, but also in bad times. Therefore, I would highly suggest you to watch the following lecture by ICT. The lecture that I'm referring to is called ICT Forex, Trades Psychology and Effective Journaling. It's about an hour long and it teaches you the majority of things you need to understand when it comes to the psychological side of things and how to journal properly. Next to this lecture, I would highly advise you to start listening to the recordings of ICT's Twitter spaces. These Twitter spaces provide you with an insight to how he thinks. By listening to him speak about the adversities that he had to go through as a trader, you're able to learn from his wisdom. And that's by far one of the most important things that you can do once you are able to see what the market is likely to do next. And finally, I would highly suggest you to watch the motivational speeches playlist that I have on my YouTube channel. This playlist contains certain parts of his Twitter spaces that I deemed as very valuable. By listening to those speeches, you're able to learn from his wisdom in a manner that's pleasing and that you're also able to repeat. Meaning, you can listen to these speeches multiple times a day and you will be able to understand what he's teaching you. Once you're able to control yourself and once you have understood the psychological side of things, 
I suggest you to deep dive into risk management. For risk management, there are three lectures that I suggest you to watch. First of all, considerations in risk management. Secondly, core content month two, growing small accounts. And thirdly, money management that works. Risk management goes above everything. You can have the best technical understanding in the world. But if your risk management is incorrect, that technical understanding would not lead you to the success that you so deeply desire. With that, this guide comes to an end. I hope that you found it insightful. I hope that I have provided you with a proper structure for you to deep dive into ICTS content. And I believe that if you would follow this structure, that within just a few months time, you'll be able to understand the majority of things that ICT is trying to teach you. But only if you put in the work. Only if you're willing to journal properly and if you're willing to show up every single day. And that decision to show up every single day is something you have to decide for yourself. You are the person in control. You need to be able to decide for yourself whether or not you're going to fully commit to this. But the moment you fully commit to this, there's no going back. Because once you see this, you can't unsee it. I wish you all the best and I look forward to seeing your development. Be safe.